automotive partner of the NBA. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, part of what makes Cleveland, Ohio a special place. Welcome to Wednesday night's NBA action here on 2K Sports. I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill, and the fourth member of our crew, reporter Ali LaForce. And for an idea of how the league is shaping up right now, take a look at these latest power rankings. Taking a look at Los Angeles, they're building some momentum right now and aiming for a spot in the top five. I think for Cleveland, they were hoping to begin the year better. It's still too soon to hit the panic button, but they're heading in the wrong direction. And with tip-off coming right up, we've got just enough time to hear from the sideline. Allie, what do you got for us? Hey, Brian, we've heard a lot of critique of some of the fouls that are called. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Makes a good point. And a couple of teams coming out scorching hot this season, Grant. How far can a hot start carry a team? Well, well, some teams can ride a strong start throughout the whole season. I mean, it's just a huge mental boost for a team, particularly early on. All right, let's check out the starting lineup for the Trailblazers. Yusuf Nurkic is out there with Justice Winslow. Then there's Eric Bledsoe. Then there's Damian Lillard. And it's Little in at the three, the small forward. And for the Cavaliers, Garland and Osman fill out the wings. Aaron Gordon is... out there with Kevin Love and it's Westbrook in at the point and it's the Cavaliers to start out Gordon the pass to Garland and here's Westbrook down low it's stolen by Nurkic pass to Lillard inside and Nurkic throws it down a floor general like Lillard won't miss that assist. He easily spots the wide open shooter and connects. Here's Osman. And there's the call on Yusuf Nurkic. That's his first foul of the game. The ref's calling it close already as he picks up a quick early foul. Here's Love. He played a great game against Charlotte. Now Bledsoe. Driving to the basket. Uses the glass on the layup. That's one of the things about Bledsoe. That lightning quick first step makes him almost impossible to stay in front of. Westbrook, the pass to Love. Outside Garland. Drops in the three. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. First quarter, just over a minute play. Guys, you know this. Expectations for Darius Garland were high after he was taken with that fifth pick in 2019. He's made some big-time strides. He continues to improve his game. Making a statement here early, going right to the rack. Oh, I love it. And this is why you get the ball into his hands. Let him establish the pace and rhythm of the game. And setting the tempo with an assertive move, like... Where was the defense on that play? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Gets the three to Game fall. Baller. And Doris, an interesting note about Garland. The first player born in the 2000s to make the league. Okay, stop. Because <laughs> now you're making me feel old. It's true. A new generation is coming in, and I'll tell you what. The league is in spectacular hands. Here's Lillard. The Cavs getting their last shot to go. Outside Winslow. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Trailblazers. They've pounded the ball inside in the first half. Forcing the defense to collapse, that could free up shooters going forward. I think the other thing they've had going for them is their passing. Plenty of their baskets have come off assists. Now here's Westbrook. His last outing, he had 18 points. 
Pass to Gordon. Here's Osman. Love inside. Nurkic is there from the line. Four on the clock. And it's Westbrook off the drive. Two points. That one goes. Westbrook. Westbrook's got his second bucket of the night. Talk about hitting the ground running. Four for five to start. Nurkic with the ball. Lillard fires away from way outside. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. <laughs> They've come out hot. I mean, really hot. Perfect from the field thus far. Here's Gordon. Fires the three. Rebounded by Nurkic. Portland leading. Over to the wing. Garland against Lillard. Let's the three fly. The shot no good. And it's Cleveland the other way. Coming off a win against the Hornets. You have to credit the game plan going in, especially at the offensive end, where they were just so relentless. And that's not an easy environment to play in. To score it the way they did on the road says a lot about their intensity and focus. Now here's Lillard. In the game against Philadelphia, very impressive. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And I'll tell you, that was some smart basketball from Lillard right there. I mean, understanding how to put pressure on the D to get these calls. Markkanen's checked in for Gordon. So he gets them both. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. Lillard against Westbrook. He takes it in and jams it home. Westbrook. The absolute ferocity from Russell Westbrook. The rim. My goodness, how you feeling? And that was our AT&T 5G slam cam. Bringing you the sauce. Bledsoe, pass to Nurkic. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Bledsoe. Bledsoe's got his third assist of the night. Here's Westbrook. And count the basket. He was fouled. And he's going to the line for one more. Well, you think back to Russell Westbrook's collegiate days at UCLA. Those teams were loaded. Think about it. The future MVP at that time did not start as a freshman and scored only three points per game. Now here's Bledsoe. In his last outing, eight points for him. No one covering. Lillard. Lillard's got 13. And once Lillard kicks it up a notch, watch out. Flat out taking over now. Here's Westbrook. And it's good. Two points. Talk about Westbrook in college, Doris. He played with some future NBA stars. He sure did. Of course, he spent that year with Kevin Love. They were both top five picks in the 2008 draft. But he also shared a backcourt with Darren Collison, Aaron Aflalo, amongst other future pros. It is no wonder Westbrook's teams collegiately 65 and 10. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Westbrook drives. And give him another one. He's six of eight and looking solid. Defender in his grill. And Russell says, let me shake you off, sir. I've got to score this. Portland has gone four of five from distance here in the first quarter. Lillard against Westbrook. Takes it inside. And the dunk by Lillard. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. To the left side wing. Westbrook drawing the double. Here's Garland. And slammed it home. And a foul. A chance at another point at the line. Yusuf Nurkic picks one up. That's just that tremendous seven. focus from the young guy, Darius Garland. Foul. Takes the punishment, figures out how to score it. And the Blazers making a change here. Eubanks is checked in. You really get it all with Russell Westbrook. His versatility as a player is truly exceptional. That's what allows him to crank out triple doubles one after another. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. Here's Love. Kicks it out to Westbrook. Puts up a three. Osman with the bucket. 
Six points for him. Well, the aggressiveness of Russell Westbrook setting up that bucket right there. This guy knows how to find the best shot possible. And while Westbrook has led the league in triple doubles many seasons, I think that stat is also a testament to his hustle. Yeah, when it comes to pure energy, Westbrook is maybe unmatched. He's the ultimate hard worker. Every minute he's on the floor, he's doing his best to make an impact on the game. And so it's Cleveland with it, following the bucket by the Blazers. And the basket is good. He got it to go, and he took the bump. So a free throw coming up, an opportunity at a three-point play. That's his first personal foul. Fourth team foul. You know what I admire about Russell Westbrook? Were there weaknesses to his game when he came in? No question about it. But his work habits, his desire to excel and improve have turned those weaknesses into strengths. Truly extraordinary. Here's Eubanks. He also had a big impact in that win against the 76ers. Here's Garland. Two minutes remaining. Rejected by Bledsoe. The dog is defense from Mr. Bledsoe twice on the pipes. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. Here's Lowe. Long range from the inbound. And the Cavaliers, another three. And both teams already firing on all cylinders. Yeah, this is already a high-scoring game, but we knew that was a possibility coming into this one. Now here's Lillard. 17 points in the game. Shoots over Westbrook. And that one's long. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. Oh, that's good. Russell Westbrook with the assist. Portland trailing here. Lillard outside to end the run. Excellent D there from Westbrook. He's as surprised as we are. Most nights, that bucket is automatic. Love finds Markkanen. Westbrook drawing the double. Outside for Love. Fires it. Here's Osman. And the layup is good. Now it's a five-point Cavalier lead. Good things come to those who hustle. He creates the second chance opportunity. Timeout called. Portland, like so many foreign stars, Jenny Osman really distinguished himself abroad before arriving in the NBA. Yeah, there's no doubt. Won championships and accolades playing in Turkey, then brought those skills stateside. And guys, he's carving out a nice career for himself here in the United States. He's checked in for the Cavs. Sexton comes in for Westbrook. Colin Sexton. 54 seconds left in the first quarter. Bledsoe can't get it to go. Cleveland has gone four of six from deep to start this game. Pass to Love. Here's Osman. Outside Sexton. Outside Love. Down to five on the shot clock. Yep, that one's good. Love's got nine. There's a certain rhythm and pace to the way Kevin Love plays the game. He knows when to spot up off the pass. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Bledsoe. Banked it in off the glass. Nine points in the game. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Anthony, left side, over Winslow, sexed it up top. It'll count. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. Russell Westbrook, he's been the guy making things happen for the Cavaliers. Scoring, passing, imposing his will at the offensive end. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. Damian Lillard, honored with the 2020 Magic Johnson Award, recognizing the player who not only being recognized but giving your time, but also making other people's job easier. 
um, I take a lot of pride in that. The same way I take pride in my teammates doing well. And Tremendous character for Lillard. So true. I mean, whether it's a big win or a tough loss, he'll stand and face the music. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And let's take a moment to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Cavaliers. <laughs> some great drives to the bucket for them tonight. They've shown some real tenacity on the boards, and it's turned into a lot of second-chance points. Here are the five. Portland has to start the second. Chris Dunn is out there with Josh Hart. Then it's Drew Eubanks. Then it's Joe Ingles. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. All right, B.A., Russell Westbrook last season said titles won't define him. He said, quote, I grew up in the streets. I'm a champion. I don't have to be an NBA champion. My legacy isn't based on what I do on this court. It's what I do off the floor. How many people I'm able to impact and inspire. Oh, different perspective, Allie. Good stuff. And Kevin Love knows his role so well. This guy is always looking to find space and spread the court with his ability to knock down shots. Over to the left wing. Watford. And it's Portland scoring again. The Cavaliers leading. On the wing, Sexton. Pass to Love. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. And the Cavaliers get another bucket right there. Portland has gone five of six from three-point land so far. Outside Hart. Back to Dunn. With the drive. And the Blazers getting another bucket right there. Well, you love to watch Chris Dunn because that handle is especially tight. Masterful control with the ball in his hands. Here's Rondo. Here's Osmond. Good. And it's Rondo who picks up the assist. Osmond's got 11 points. Always a bonus when points come from unlikely sources. And you can see this guy's been working on that shot. Pass to Dunn. Here's Eubanks. Outside Hart. Now Dunn. Unloads from 13. The rebound by Osman. Cleveland has gone 6 of 8 from the three-point line in this matchup. Love for three. And no good. And it's Portland the other way. And this matchup with the Cavaliers, it's their first meeting of the season. A difficult matchup for them last year with them losing both games to a team with a bad record. Yeah, that's just a nice pass. This was one of college basketball's premier playmakers done showing great vision. Here's Love. The rebound by Eubanks. Portland has gone two for two from outside the arc here in the second quarter. Watford, he's guarded by Anthony. Back to Eubanks. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Well, he's such a good athlete for a center. It's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. Outside Sexton. Pass to Anthony. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Yeah, Melo's so hard to slow down when he's diving off a pick and roll. Fantastic timing on the play. Now here's Ingles. No one near him. That one a tad offline, but it drops in for him. Ingles has got his second bucket on the night. How about the time? It could be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. A different look for Cleveland. Cousins, he's checked in for love. And it's Gordon in for Anthony. And the Trailblazers making a change here as well. Nurkic has checked in for Eubanks. Listen, turnovers happen. You've got to move on to the next play. The Trailblazers have gotten an impressive six of eight shots to fall in the second. Don outside. And stolen by Sexton. And now the Cavaliers on the break. For three, Gordon. An absolute bomb from three-point range. Gordon's got his first three points of the game. Portland trailing here. Pass to Nurkic. And here's Hart. 
Here's Dunn. Knocks it loose. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Blazers will retain possession. Boy, we are so lucky to have so many outstanding young role models in the NBA. Aaron Gordon did fantastic work in the community in Orlando when he was a member of the Magic. Right wing. Clock at four. High arcing shot. And that's two points on the layup. That's unblockable, that floater. One of the many shots in Dunn's arsenal. Gordon making a donation to support homeless kids in local schools. Also, Aaron producing a video to help spread awareness in Central Florida. Gosh, that video was so special. Aaron said, quote, potential is universal. Opportunity, not so much. That's where we come in, unquote. Boy, just great to have guys like Aaron in the league caring about the youth in their community and trying to make an impact with their influence. Here's Dunn. It's rebounded by Cleveland. You've got to love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Outside, Rondo. Pass to Gordon. Now here's Cousins. Here's the three. It's another three for Cleveland. Well, you love it. Marcus Cousins drawing the defensive attention and still has the court awareness to make the play. Back to Dunn. Now Nurkic. Second shot opportunity. Another one falls for Portland. Uh, so capable of overwhelming you. Nurkic is terrific at maintaining his focus and balance on these tough finishes. Here's Rondo. And the Cavaliers, another three. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Now here's Dunn. Checked by Rondo. The shot by Dunn, no good. Here's Sexton. And rejected. Dunn outside. Pass to Ingles. Trailblazers got to hurry. Got to get up a shot. Here's Nurkic. Off the left rim and out. Listen, he can make that shot right there, but I do know they have other options they can go to. Here's Osman. Back to Rondo. Let's it go from deep. And the Cavaliers, another three. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Here's Dunn. Gordon pulls it in. Gordon's got his fourth rebound in this one. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Pass to Ingles. Shot to stop the run. Cavaliers with a rebound. One minute left in the second. Rondo off target from outside. The Trailblazers have gotten half their shots to fall in the second. Eight for 16. Shots good by Hart. And off the jump, they were effective from deep. I don't know why they haven't continued to fire from out there. Now a timeout called by Cleveland. For the Cavaliers, Markkinen comes in for Osman, and it's Russell Westbrook in for Sexton. And for the Cavaliers, they're shooting 67% for the game. Just outstanding. Westbrook, the pass to Cousins. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. Westbrook's got his fifth assist in this one. You can run just about any action for DeMarcus Cousins and feel good about your chances to score it. Pass to Nurkic. Rebounded by Cousins. This has not been a good period for this guy. Out of sync, not letting the game come to him. He's got to settle down and make shots. Well, when you're careless with the basketball, you can expect that to happen. Portland has got six of seven threes to fall. They're looking solid out there. 
Here's Lillard. He's got it going on. Now seven for ten. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Westbrook against Hart. Cousins for three. No good. From deep three-point range. No good on the buzzer beater. Boy, the ground Russell Westbrook can cover. It's incredible. The speed, the wingspan, breathtaking. And so we wrap up the first half. Cavaliers ahead. They're up by 11. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. It was all Russell Westbrook in the first quarter. He ended up with 15 points, 5 assists, and 1 rebound. Taking a look at the Cavaliers, Shaq, what you think? Love how hard they're going at it on the offensive board, chewing some real tenacity every time a shot goes up. They carve out this lead because of their aggressive lines. So don't expect that to change. And the Kenny, what did you see from Portland? The energy on D stood for disappointment. They were slow to rotate. Communication was bad. No effort. I mean, the intensity on that end of the floor where it needs to be. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. What a game we're seeing from Damian Lillard. I'll tell you what, he's still working on his playmaking skills, but he's been tremendous so far in finding the open man. Well, what he did was sustain it throughout the first half. He ran the offense to absolute perfection. Garland and Osman fill out the wings. Kevin Love out there with Aaron Gordon. And it's Westbrook in at the point guard position. That's the five for Cleveland right now. And Westbrook draws the double. Pass to Osman. Oh, from deep. Back to Westbrook. Here's Osman. The three is up. That's good. And so Westbrook with the assist. Osman's got 16 points. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. Lillard with the ball. He's picked up by Westbrook. Now here's Winslow. He's guarded closely. Cavaliers with the rebound. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Westbrook drawing the double. Here's Osman. And the Cavaliers, another three. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor space. And right now, Greg, he is doing a great job delivering for this team. Productive and efficient. Here's Nurkic. And Nurkic throws it down. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Right. You can see on that possession, one side playing with a little desperation, the other side losing focus. Wow, what a start. Three for three. Terrific play calling. Everything clicking out of the gates here. Here's Lillard. Doesn't go for him. Love with the defensive effort. Gordon, the pass to Love. Back to Gordon. Westbrook outside. And Westbrook draws the double. Pass to Love. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. He's got 16. Great play calling, great execution. Leads to four for four to start this half. For Portland, they've gotten two of four shots to go since the break. You absolutely love the versatility of Kevin Love's game, right? The inside-outside threat, the high percentage shooting you get. And he brings this game a little closer using a huge one-hand slam. That's a great way to get your team back into it. And that's their first miss after hitting four in a row to start the half. Here's Bledsoe. Garland with the defensive effort. The Cavaliers have gotten four of their first five shots to go since the break. Yo, yo, 
for three. And the Cavaliers, another three. In endorse another thing about Love's versatile skill set is that it shows up on both ends of the floor. It certainly does. I mean, consider in 2011, this guy was the league leader in rebounds. He's a do-it-all player. Whatever the team needs, he's going to deliver. Now here's Westbrook. He's got 17. Westbrook drawing the double. Pass to Osmond. Here's Love. Portland grabs the miss. Their next game playing at home as the Pacers come to town. And that's the first of just two home games for them. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. In 2016, the NBA Players Association made history, voting to extend health insurance to retired players with at least three years of service. Chris Paul said, quote, they paved the way for our game. This is just the little that we could do. Whenever my tenure is up as president of the union, that will be easily the greatest achievement. Brian? Well, that is big time, Allie. Good stuff there. Thank you for that. Well, let's check the boxes. Can he make the three? Yes. Can he score on the interior? Yes. Kevin Love, give me a little mid-range, sir. Lillard with the ball. He's picked up by Westbrook. Man, that one's Jimmy good. Lillard. Lillard's got seven points for the quarter. I'll tell you what a night. He has been efficient. He's been strong. Unfortunately, they're still fighting an uphill battle. Westbrook against Lillard. And Westbrook draws the double. Pass to Love. Here's Osman. Back to Love. Marked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. Yeah, I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind. The Trailblazers have gone six for nine in the half. For three, here's Lillard with the tip. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Eubanks, he's gotten his second bucket. Great effort to turn the miss into two points. Yes, sir. Those are the hustle points. Here's Love. The shot that time, not on target. And it's Portland the other way. Here's Little. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. The three. And it's Lillard with the three. Knocks that one down. Four triples for the night. Three in the first half. Cleveland has gotten all three from downtown so far in the second half. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Rebounded by Winslow. Winslow's got four rebounds now. Lillard outside. Garland against Bledsoe. Here's Eubanks. Shoots it from the corner. Cavaliers with a rebound. Osmond's got his fourth rebound in this one. Westbrook finds Love. Using his post moves to get the two points. Love's got six here in the quarter. Is it just me or is Kevin Love all over the floor tonight? There is simply no answer for what he's bringing to the table. Lillard against Love. Step back and fire. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Lillard's got 12 points here in the second half. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. Love with the ball. 20 points for him. Hits a three-pointer. His first three of the half. That gives him nine total points from beyond the arc so far. And here's Lillard. He's got 31. Driving in. No good there. Garland with the defensive effort. The Cavaliers have gone 8 of 12 from the floor in the third quarter. From the high post. And off the left side of the rim, it swirls in for him. Love's got 25 points in the game. And he couldn't get an easier shot. The defense right now just looks defeated. Well, simply stated, simply not enough effort. Not enough attention to detail. They've gotten run over this evening. Garland against Bledsoe. The rebound by Garland. Cleveland has got four threes to fall out of five attempts here in the third. 
Fires the three. And love with the basket on the assist by Garland. And he's got 28 now. All game long, he's been getting to his spots, and the defense has yet to adjust. Bledsoe against Garland. Here's Lillard. And he connects with a jumper. Lillard's got 33 points. Rising to the challenge. He's given them everything he's got. Pass to Love. Outside Garland. Love against Bledsoe. Excellent D there from Bledsoe. Portland has gotten 21 points so far from three-point land. They're 7 of 10. To the paint. Here's Winslow. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. A different look for Cleveland. Cousins, he's checked in for Love. Marketing comes in for Osman. And Sexton subbed in for Garland. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Hart's checked in for Portland. And so he hits both. 29 seconds left in the third. Lillard against Westbrook. 17 seconds left in the third. Stolen! Three on three. Here's Hart. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. His nimbleness makes him a unique threat at the rim. Westbrook outside. Played it in with a nice Westbrook. touch off the window. Westbrook. Westbrook's got 19 points. You seem to understand his teammate when Russell Westbrook is starting to find his rhythm because these guys consistently get him the rock and he delivers. And so it's Cleveland going into the break up 12. They hold a real solid lead right now. Love their approach tonight. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. And the Cavaliers with possession here. On the court right now for the Trailblazers. Drew Eubanks out there with Yusuf Nurkic. Then there's Damian Lillard. Then it's Josh Hart. And it's Little in at the three. Kicks it out to Westbrook. Pass to Sexton. Five to shoot. Westbrook against Lillard. Marking it from long range. Rebound by the Trailblazers. To the middle. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Not just a score. Lillard knows it's his responsibility as the point guard to involve his teammates. All right, guys, what do you think so far on the offensive approach for Cleveland? What a tremendous showing from three-point land all through this game, guys. Yeah, something else that stands out tonight is how many assists they have. Lillard against Westbrook. Pass to Cousins. Westbrook outside. Kicks it out to Markkinen. Jacks up a three. And they recover it. Hart pulls it in. Portland trailing here. Lillard right side. Over Sexton. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Cleveland has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Oh, got that one up quick. And the Cavaliers lead by 11. Well, Colin Sexton's assertiveness right there with the rise and fire. Exactly what his team wants from him. Here's Nurkic. No good on that one. 5 for 9 in the game. For Cleveland, they've gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. 
Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. I'll tell you, you can't get stops if you're unwilling to put in the work. That free throw good from Sexton. When thinking about Colin Sexton, the first thing that comes to mind is his burst. I mean, his acceleration is just tremendous. He can go from 0 to 60 like a race car. Here's Lillard. Pass to Little. Nurkic inside. Pounded by Westbrook. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. You know, Grant, with Sexton, it's not just that he has speed. He actually knows how to use that speed as a weapon. Yeah, he really does. I mean, defenders have to play out on him because of his three-point ability. So he'll wait to catch them flat-footed, then use his burst to blow by them, getting into the teeth of the defense and making plays. One shot. Good from Nurkic. And they've done well from the free throw line this half. No misses yet. The Cavaliers have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Lillard against Westbrook. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Yusuf Nurkic picks one up. Boy, how hard does Russell Westbrook attack the defense in the paint? He is fantastic at forcing the issue. He hits the second from the line. Portland has gotten 21 points so far from three-point land. They're 7 of 10. Now Nurkic. Pass to Little. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And small forward Nasir Little, just one season with the Tar Heels, he was the number six recruit in the high school class of 2018. One year later, Grant slid to the 25th pick. NBA, he's showing signs that he probably slid too far. A long wait in the green room, but that's just one day. It's all about the work he puts in every day that will determine what he makes of his great potential. Now here's Westbrook. Outside Sexton. Over Hart. And another miss by Cleveland. Well, defenses are content to give up the mid-range, right? It's not the high percentage restricted area or the three. You can see they're prepared to give up that shot. Pass to Nurkic. The rebound by Markkinen. Cleveland has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Westbrook, the pass to Cousins. Here's Westbrook. Four on the clock. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Defensive the motor of Russell Westbrook is absolutely amazing. This guy stays with his shot even through the tough contact. That one misses for Westbrook. Grant, as someone who played abroad on Team USA, how exciting is it to see how much more international the league has become? It's fantastic, no question. You know, back then we saw so many talented foreign stars playing internationally, but now the best really do all find their way here to the NBA. A chance to get a quick injury report. And now we'll send it over to Ali LaForce for an update on Kevin Love. Allie? Guys, I chatted briefly with the head athletic trainer for Cleveland, and it seems to be a sprained ankle. They're trying to control the pain and the swelling right now. For a team just out of the gate this season, trying to establish chemistry, already they've hit some adversity, guys. Okay, thanks for the update. Good to get that information. Now we know how things are coming along, Graham. That's true. It's the uncertainty factor with injuries that can be so hard to handle. There's no question because... Even if you know what's wrong, individuals have different healing times. The time frames can be totally different for similar injuries. Soft touch Westbrook. off the glass. Westbrook. Westbrook's got 26 points. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Hard with it. Into the lane. And he throws it down with one hand. 
Now that's how you capitalize on a screen. Yeah, good positioning, too. Gave him a clear path to the hoop. Where was the defense? No fighting through the pick. No rotation. My goodness. From deep. And Gordon with the basket oh, on the assist by Westbrook. They have no answer defensively inside. The Trailblazers have gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. Hart passes to Nurkic. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. And they've been playing with much greater physicality this half. Getting themselves to the free throw line is a bust. A line for the Trailblazers. Yusuf Nurkic. Two shots. The first one falls for the Cavaliers. Love is checked in for Cousins. Osman comes in for Markkinen. And Garland is subbed in for Sexton. And the Trailblazers making a change here as well. Winslow's checked in. The Cavs have gone six for nine here in the fourth quarter. Westbrook against Lillard. It's stolen by Hart. And here they come. Up again. Westbrook with the rebound. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Pass to Gordon. Here's Osman. Out to the wing. Gordon outside. And here's Westbrook. Defended by Lillard. And Westbrook draws the double. And the shot is good by Garland. And the Cavaliers lead by 13. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Now Nurkic. Lillard outside. That one falls. Damian Lillard. Oh, a terrific jump shooter from any range. That's an easy one for Lillard. Westbrook, the pass to Love. Lillard against Westbrook. Pass to Osmond. Out to the right wing. Love with the ball. Shot clock at six. And he makes it. Kevin. Love's got 30. And instead of just trying to draw the foul, Love maintains his focus despite some stiff defense. Great hands, great body control, allowing him to get it done. The Cavaliers have gone 8 of 11 from the field in the fourth. From deep three-point range. Pure from three-point range. Love's got 33 points. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Cleveland has got one of three to fall from downtown here in the fourth. Pass to Osmond. Pulls up. And again, another assist. That makes 15 assists. He has been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Here's Little. Back to Lillard. He buries it from three. Lillard's got 41. Oh, the moment Lillard crosses half court, you better pick him up. A score with unlimited range. Outside Garland. Pass to Osmond. Back to Garland. Westbrook outside. To the inside. And it's Love missing. It's all about the defense right there. Without that level of activity, he probably scores it. And this one hasn't been in doubt for a bit now. They came out on a mission, and you can bag up this win for the Cavaliers. All their efforts on the boards ended up paying off. And just two tough rebounding teams. But they gave the extra effort and were rewarded for it. And it's a performance that will signify their fifth win of the year. And they meet just twice. So taking the first meeting means a lot to this team. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for Russell Westbrook. He ran things with precision. Great command of the offense, putting his teammates in all the right spots. <laughs> Throws it down emphatically. He's got serious hops, right? You add that to his ability to penetrate, that's two easy points. Garland against Lillard. Outside Love. Yes, and a nice assist from Garland. Love's got 36 points. Their home crowd has energized them all game. 
now they're closing it out. Well, for all intents and purposes, this game is over. Just a matter of time here. Here's Nurkic. The layup misses. Gordon outside. Outside Garland. Over Nurkic. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. Showing us that killer instinct right now. No letting the foot off the gas for them. And you want to save your best for last. Tonight they've done that and then some. And so it's the Cavaliers taking care of business in this one. Boy, they were something special to watch tonight. And the crowd loving every second of it. It's always a great feeling when you play this well for your fans. This team really showed what it's capable of. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our 2K team, this is Brian Anderson signing off. So long and good night, everyone.